in the world there are half a billion children and young people that are marginalized and the numbers keep increasing and when we work with 35,000 uh, this number still is very small compared to the issue it's a, it's a drop in a drop in an ocean we're aiming at 150,000 uh, in three years of time Friends International has grown quite rapidly both on uh, on geographics but also in terms of number of people we went from handful of people to 500 plus staff and uh, that created uh, major changes in how we needed to operate. Now in order to achieve this we're running four main programs. Uh, the first one is what we call the Friends programs, is our programs directly uh, providing services to them uh, under two angles. One is saving lives where we go where they are to provide basic services under the bridges, in slums, in prisons, in drugs den, etc. and making sure they survive. And the second part is building futures where for the younger ones it's all about bringing them back to school and keeping them to, in school for as long as possible. For the older ones it's all about vocational training and support to access employment and because kids are never alone, it's working with families in order to allow the families to be able to care for their own children. We know that working alone is, is usually not strong enough and, and we're more efficient and have more impact if we work with others. So we built the second project called City Alliance, where we work with partner NGOs to cooperate on the field, coordinate activities, learn from each other and, and develop best practices. It allowed us to, to learn from each other and, and, and build the field so that we bring the entire uh, field of development to another level, uh, away from a charity model to a more of a developmental model. In the past, uh, a lot of the services that we saw were charity-based and the impact was very limited. So really it's a, it's a behavior change of and feel that we're trying to achieve through partnerships. And it becomes very interesting because the, the international exchanges just build everyone's uh, excitement, uh, everyone's uh, skills, and, and we learn very fast. A very basic example is we're starting to have gangs uh, issues in, in Southeast Asia. Central America has had that for many years now we will learn extremely fast how to react, what they've done, what the lessons were, and how we can then bring this back to Southeast Asia. And that's gaining uh, time, energy, knowledge, and it's, it's, it's just the way to go forward really fast, to change and react to this very important issue coming. Friends International is running uh, all the projects with a budget of $6 million. Initially, we were very donor dependent, uh, the problem with donors is that uh, the priorities change and it's very difficult to have this continuity that you need uh, to provide ongoing services on the long term. I decided to start a project that would generate money um, and that's the social businesses. So we have turned all our vocational trainings into businesses. That includes restaurants, beauty salons, garage. It's the best vocational training possible because it's hands-on and it immediately uh, gives a real life training to young people and they're immediately highly employable. If we don't make good money, it either means that there is no market out there and therefore there's no placement, so we need to change. Or we're not doing good business, therefore we're not doing a good training and we have to revise what we're doing. So being in tune with the market allows us to be constantly at the best we can be. If we're good in business, we, we cover our costs. If we're very good in business, we make a profit and the profit can then be used to support uh, different services from friends that, that are not money generating. I believe that we have a role in, in a much wider picture which is to influence uh, businesses to, to adopt different practices. It's a good example that you can make money and social, have a social impact at the same time. And uh, we are trying to work with bigger companies to, to create that kind of um, new model um, of, of how to do business. We worked with an international hotel chain in trying to develop, for example, a, a vocational training hotel where they would build an entire hotel that would be for vocational training. They would take part of the business side. We would work with them on the training side. And that kind of collaboration um, 
would be extremely powerful because it's, it's also highly replicable. It's only when it's all together that we manage to talk, to cooperate, to build new models that we will change the world to a better place.